Hi friends, welcome back. In previous sessions, we have discussed how to read the data and how to insert and update the data in ASP.NET Core by using repository pattern. In today's session, we are going to perform delete operation in ASP.NET Core with repository pattern. We are going to add one more button here to perform the delete operation. Whenever user clicks on that button, based on this product ID, we are going to delete the data. Go to the solution, UI layer, here we have the views first we have to change the index page we have to add the one more button to delete the product i am duplicating this here i am going to change action method as delete and here i am going to pause the product id this bootstrap style i'll make it as danger I'm adding this as delete. Now I'll go to the repository, go to the infrastructure layer, go to the implementation. This is product repository where we implemented all our methods which we used for CRUD operations. Here I'm going to implement the delete method. Here I'm going to make it as asynchronous method. So based on the product ID, we have to delete the product from product stable first we have to check whether this id is valid or not for that i'm going to create one variable for as product i'm going to check this table products here we have to pass the primary key value to find the data from the table if product is not null so in that case product is available then we have to delete the data context dot products dot remove the product and here we have to pass the product to remove from the database finally we have to call the save changes that is save method we have to call it here so this is the method which we implemented inside the repository now we have to call this delete method from our controller go to the controllers this is the product controller which we are using here i'm going to create one action method i'll make it as delete this action method also i'm going to make it as asynchronous Here we have to pass the product ID. Based on the product ID, I'll get product here. Which I can get it from our repository, that is product repo, get by ID. Here I have to pass the primary key ID. If product is not null, then return the view and here I have to pause product model if product is null in that case we have to redirect to index action method return I am going to redirect to index and here I am going to return message like I think already we used here this one this message I am going to pass it to the user product details not found with the ID which is given by the user this message will be displayed in the index view also we can keep this content inside the try catch block if there is any unhandled exception we can display this to user try catch block i will add it and if there is any exception we are going to display this to user this is going to be exception message
here also we are going to move inside try catch So this is going to be get method here we have to create one more method to post the data to the repository this one I am going to make it as post I will make it as asynchronous method Here we will receive the data in the form of model. Here I have to pass the action name also, which is delete. Here I will get the data from the view in the form of product model. This one I am going to pass it to our repository product repo dot I have to call the delete method and I have to pass model here so once it is deleted I have to display the success message here I can take it from our previous one product deleted So this is a message which I'm going to display to the user and it should redirect to index view. This one also I'm going to keep it inside the try catch. So if there is any error I have to display this message and it should stay inside the delete view. here we have to pause the ID here I can take it only ID instead of model we can take the ID here so we no need to get the data everything here because here we are going to delete only here we are going to perform only delete operation that's why instead of model I am taking only ID so if this ID is valid we are going to delete the data we will create a view for this right click on this action method click on add view click on razor view empty add I can make it as delete Here I have to add the model project name which is coming from core and I have to add the model reference here and here I am going to add the title and use the view data this is my title here I'm going to create one form and method will be post and here I'm going to pass action to delete the product inside this I will declare one div in previous sessions we have designed this one I'm going to use bootstrap style
inside this card header I'm going to display the title then I'll add another div for card body here I'll create one hidden field to store the ID this text box I'm making as read only because we are going to delete the data and I'm going to add label here product name I'll duplicate this for price and quantity Here I'm going to add another div to display the button. run the application now I'll make it these buttons to left alignment go to the index so here instead of center I can remove this center So currently we have three products here I'm going to delete this product which is in the end click on delete so it is redirected to delete view here we have disabled all the controls because here we are verifying the data and we are going to delete it click on the delete this product deleted successfully and its message showing product has been removed from the list I'll try to delete one more product here and instead of four I'm going to make it as something which is not in the database click on enter now so product details not found with the ID which is posted by the user so these validations also we have implemented we will check the table earlier we had three products this product has been deleted now we'll try to execute the query again so that product is deleted so we will try to delete one more product here delete it delete confirmed product deleted successfully and this alert has been closed after given timeline so like this we can perform delete operation in the asp.net core by using the positive pattern that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching